Let's use Web2Py to let's use Python to create a web applications with Web2Py. So we go to Web Apps and click Open Web Tab. Click Add a new web app. Click Next, and then select Web2Py. Now you can select some password here. You'll need that for the Web2Py admin site. Click Next, and this can take a moment to set up a moment to install so take your time so once you are once that has been completed you can open the admin the website url with that link so the link shown on top and you will see welcome to web 2 pi and you'll be able to click admin here when you do that you can log into the admin panel so you can set type the password that you set before log in you see we are now in the Web2Py administrative interface. Now on the left top you'll see three folders there which are sample applications. So you'll see admin here which is the admin panel you are currently seeing. Then there is an examples folder included by default. And another is the welcome app which is the basic application you saw before you signed in. Now all of these applications except admin can be edited. So if you go to if you click on manage and click on edit, you see you can actually edit the code of those applications. So you can do that for welcome as well. Click edit. You see of the code here. Except admin, that one cannot be edited. So let's create our own application. On the right here, you'll see new simple application, application name. So we can type the application name, for example, sample underscore app, and click create. Now that will take a moment and create a new application. You'll see it automatically generated some code. Now, one thing to know is that if you click on any of the apps, for example, on examples, you'll see the app to pi application. So in this case, slash examples. If we click on example app, we'll see this application. Go back and click on welcome. We'll see this application. So in this installed applications interface or in the admin interface, you can easily go to the output of the applications just by doing a left click on the folder and you'll see what the application looks like. Now, if we go back to edit, we can actually edit the code. And the code is spread into several folders. There it uses the model view controller system. So models is for access into the database, controllers is application logic, and views is what you actually see once you open the web page show HTML web application code. So if I go to this, you'll see actual HTML code. For example, you'll see here how did you get here? Now I can zoom in a bit. So for example, we can change this text, click edit. And instead of typing, how did you get here? We'll type my Web2Py app. And maybe we change this. Okay. Now I can zoom out a bit and we save the file, click save. So file has been saved. Go back to the Web2Py interface and click sample app. And you'll see the text has been changed. It says here, you are the best and my Web2Py app. So we can change any of the codes by clicking edit and clicking on any of these files. For example, the view files case index is the page we see index HTML and then you can change the actual appearance of the web page so view contains all of the uh, page views controllers application logic models database logic you'll see there's some language files, some static files like images uh, JavaScript and things like that now let's create our own controller so go back here So 
go to the controllers and we'll create our new controller. So we click create here, the little button under the controller section. And you see we can type a file name. So I'm going to call it hello and click create. So that created a new file, hello.py. And if we click on edit, we can immediately edit the file. Now you'll see it returns some default code. So it says hello from hello.py. So if this controller will be called, it will return this message. Now if you want, you can, you can change that message, but we're just gonna click save. It looks good to me. So next we need to create a view. So we need to get out of this interface, go back to the web to pi interface, click edit, and we need to create a view. So in the view section, scroll down and click create. And now we need to create a view that matches the controller. So we created the hello controller and we'll create a new view called hello slash index.html and click create. So that's uh, created the view, hello slash index.html and click edit. And then we can edit our view. You'll see it's HTML web code. So now let's see what it looks like. We go to the app, sample app, and we change the route from the hello view. So hello slash index. And you'll see now it uh, shows you the output. The message from the controller, hello from hello.py. So now we added a new uh, view and controller in this model view controller model. And it's a way to separate the logic or the code. So that is the basic to Py framework. You can create a new apps and these apps use the model view controller where you can write Python code and application code. All your page code goes into the views and the controller has your Python code. So you can use the link below and create your own Web2Py application, Python web application. And the web interface, I mean interface will help you to create different applications that you want to make.